topic today. And our first main topic today comes from Ryan Hudson. This is from a YouTube comment. He said, side loading is actually super easy. I highly recommend it. It works so much better than Chromecast, especially with Google TV. If you want to know how, I can leave a comment explaining how. It's extremely easy. So Ryan is basically, he's responding to a comment that I had made. I think it was on an episode of StadiaCast. If uh, you didn't know, you can subscribe to StadiaCast, which is a podcast all about Google Stadia. And I said that I was going to sideload and I decided at the last minute, you know, I, I'm not sure if I want to do it. I was watching a YouTube video that it was explaining how and it, they wanted me to download a program on my computer in order to send the file to the not the Google TV, but to my uh, Shield TV Pro. And I was like, oh, I don't really like this idea. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to back out and I'm not going to do this. So I ended up not doing it. But then. I read the the comment and I said, you know what? I do want to try it out. So I went and I, I looked for um, the, the tips on how to do it. And I found one from Jason Howell. Now, if you don't know who Jason Howell is, Jason Howell uh, works over at This Week in Tech, the big uh, tech podcast conglomerate uh, with Leo Laporte. And he is on the show like This Week in Android, or no, no, All About Android as well as a whole bunch of other uh, shows over on the Twit network. And I very much trust Jason. So he was saying he was showing the step by step process of how to go about sideloading Stadia onto an Android TV. And for those of you that don't know, a shield TV is an Android TV. Uh, so I was like, all right, I'm going to follow the steps that Jason Howell is telling me. And I went step by step through the process. And at the end of the day, boom, Stadia was installed on my Shield TV. Now, why was I interested in doing this? Well, uh, the Shield TV Pro, which is a really, really cool piece of hardware, has this built in AI upscaling where it can take a lower resolution signal and kind of use AI to clean up what it is that you're looking at on uh, on your TV screen. So it will take something that looks a little blurry and maybe washed out a little bit, and it just makes it super, super crisp. And uh, I was watching um, Lloyd. He was streaming uh, Cyberpunk 2077 over on GeForce Now, and he, he brought up the... Here, I'll grab the remote. He brought up his uh, his remote, and it's got like this little three the the hamburger icon on the top right up here. Uh, you hit that button, and it uses it. You know, he he can put it in demo mode, where you can see on one side of the screen, it's super crisp, and on the other side, it's kind of blurry. And I was really really impressed by that, and I wanted to see how it worked for Stadia. Spoilers: It works great. It works really really fantastic. And so uh, I, I thought, this is really amazing. The only drawback right now to sideloading Stadia onto um, my Shield TV Pro is that you can't use the Stadia controller. I suppose you could probably use the Stadia controller plugged in. I haven't tried that. I'm not interested in not using the Stadia controller. The Stadia controller has kind of become my go-to. It's my it's my favorite controller, I think. For a long time, my favorite controller was the Steam controller. And then the uh, Switch Pro controller came out. And I was like, that thing is amazing. I love it. Um, but the more that I use Stadia, the more I realized that that is my favorite controller. I've got three of them back here. I've got my... Um, my uh, Founders Edition, and then I've got a white one. Actually, we have multiple white ones here in the in the house. And then I have my Wasabi controller that my mom got me for Christmas. Thanks, Mom. Uh, so I want to be able to use those controllers. And right now, you can't pair those controllers when you're using, um, when you're sideloading. You have to use some other controller. So I was using my PlayStation DualShock 4, uh, the, you know, the, P the PS4 controller, uh, paired to my Shield TV Pro. And it's fine, but it's not as good as the Stadia controller. And so I think even though 
um, you're 100 percent right that it's it's not very difficult in order to um, sideload onto uh, Android TV. I think I'm still going to wait. I'm probably not going to use that way. And so when it becomes available for everybody to just hit a button and Stadia is on our our uh, Chromecast with Google TV, uh, that is going to be a very interesting time because then I will be able to get rid of all of my Chromecast Ultras that I have throughout my house and just have have this because these this thing is really awesome. I love the remote. I love the interface. And right now, the only reason that I have my Chromecast Ultra hooked up to my TV is for Stadia. Uh, and that's one of the cool things about Stadia is eventually what will happen is you can you can get those upgrades over time instead of uh, waiting for the next iteration to come out. So once once this gets updated to support Stadia, the the Chromecast with Google TV, I'm going to have a better experience and I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so thank you very much for the comment. And uh, let me know, wh I guess, well, th those are my thoughts on it. Here's the real question. What do you all think about Chromecast with Google TV or side loading onto Android TV with Google Stadia? Leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what you think. Have you done it? Do you recommend that people do it? And did I do something wrong? And maybe I can, in fact, use uh, my Stadia controllers with that. Leave a comment down below. All right, let's move on.